Let's learn the construction of a fire truck and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. An undercarriage consists of wheels, suspension, and brakes. Let's install them. Wheels are needed so that the car can move on the road. Suspension keeps the car from shaking, and brakes are used to stop the car. This is an engine. Install it. The engine turns the wheels so that the car can move. Now install the battery. The battery helps you start the car and also provides power for the lights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. These are the controls of a car. They include a steering wheel, pedals, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Let's install an interior of the car. Firefighters are placed in the interior. Now let's install a cabin. The cabin is a separate part of a car. The car's driver sits in the cabin. Install the headlights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. <coughs> emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. And now we need to install a fire pump. The fire pump transports water from the cistern to the fire truck's water cannon. It's a cistern. Let's install it in its place. The cistern is used to transport water on the fire truck. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Let's install firefighting equipment. The firefighting equipment is a special set of tools for fires extinguishing. This is a water jet. Install it. This is a device that directs a jet of water onto the fire. Keep it up. up the good work.